Student choice is taking the education world by storm, and it should because it can really be very incredible for your students. They can claim ownership on projects that they feel comfortable completing to showcase the knowledge that they've obtained in your class. For the teachers, though, this can constitute a lot of work. Project-based learning can already be very time-consuming to create rubrics and and lesson plans and uh, project descriptions and, and so on and so forth. And then when you throw in student choice, now you're doing that for two, three, six, nine. I think I've seen bingo boards of student choice. Again, it's incredible, but teachers can get burnt out while trying to provide this opportunity for their students. So of course, I'm gonna have to recommend Applied Digital Skills for this. I'm a little bit of an enthusiast about Applied Digital Skills, but in this session today, we're going to actually go through how to create a very, very simple student choice board using Google Slides and the entire Applied Digital Skills curriculum. All right, so here we are on the Applied Digital Skills mainframe. To get here, you can type in g.co slash Applied Digital Skills right in your Omnibox um, or your search bar um, uh, on Google Chrome, and uh, that would bring you here. You can, of course, uh, also Google search uh, the Google's Applied Digital Skills curriculum. Now, to create this digital choice board, it's important to know the capabilities of Applied Digital Skills lessons and what each one of them entails and how many of them there are. So a fun fact, when I first started doing workshops on Applied Digital Skills, there were under 20 lessons. And my last in-person session was actually in March of 2020, where we were at about 70 lessons at that point. Uh, and since then, if we were to get to apply digital skills and click on lessons, which is where all of the lessons are, and I'll scooch myself over, underneath collections, you'll see that we are now at 148 lessons. So since March of 2020, uh, the lesson number has significantly increased. And each of these lessons, if you've watched my other videos, uh, have instructor-led videos for your students, reflections, extensions, which I love to use for anchor activities, teaching materials over here with lesson plans and rubrics, uh, certificates of completion, ability to download your videos. And then in the rubrics, you'll also find exemplary projects and beginning projects uh, for you to share with your student. Again, every single one of the lessons have those. Um, so let's come out of this one for now. So if I wanted to create this choice board, which is what our uh, little tutorial is about today, um, I'm actually going to use Google Slides for this. So looking through the 148 lessons, I might try to pick lessons that cater to different learning types. My recommendation to use slides, and you can kind of see I have some samples over here, spoiler alert, um, but if I hit new and I go to slides, I can go to from a template and there's actually right in front of you then two templates that kind of could be student choice boards. Again, working smarter, not harder. There's no need to reinvent the wheel. If you want to get you know, if you want to elaborate on this and you want to make this all, um, you know, jazzy, feel free to go for it. Um, but, um, you know, if you want to save time, this is going to be the best way to do it. So I've taken um, one of these slides over here. If we were to just simply open up this template, you'll actually be able to see what you get uh, in this slide deck. And slide number three is gonna be the slide that we'd like. So you can click on slide number three and simply go file, make a copy of the selected slide, uh, or you could delete the other slides, whichever you prefer. So what I did was I actually already started working on this so that we could save a little bit of time in this video. So right here, I have the student choice board. And then I went through the Applied Digital Skills curriculum to find three lessons to share out with my students. So writing a press release. If we pop back into the Applied Digital Skills curriculum, again, you, you can pick whatever uh, lessons that you'd like. I'm gonna come up to the top and search for press release. Now, this is one of my favorite um, one of my favorite lessons in applied digital skills because you can have your students write a press release for really anything depending on whatever your content is this can be for history class this can be for english class this can be for my film class for my film students um, so you can have your students write press releases for really um, almost any class uh, so this could be a great opportunity for a student choice board project 
You can look through all of this, look through the teaching materials. And then what I would recommend doing up here is just simply copying it. Oh, let's come to this one. Highlighting write a press release. Right click or two finger click, control K or command K. And then change those words to a link that will bring your students right to apply digital skills to that press release. We're gonna do the same thing for creating a scrapbook. So we'll come back to the lessons and this one will be for a scrapbook. Right here, creating a scrapbook. And again, I'm pretty knowledgeable with these uh, lessons, uh, so I would urge you to check them out. We're just gonna go ahead and hit copy. And then again, I'm going to two finger click or right click, control or command K. And then we're gonna go ahead and paste that right there and then hit apply. And then finally, portfolio with sites. Back to lessons. This is uh, probably hands down my favorite. I've actually led a lot of lessons, a lot of workshops on creating portfolios with sites uh, for elective teachers. My students do this in film class. Um, I know uh, a lot of physical education teachers and coaches that love these portfolio lessons, but also creative writing can make uh, project portfolios art students um, or not even portfolios for themselves. They could make them for uh, someone famous instead, maybe, uh, maybe a, a historical figure. So build a portfolio with Google Sites is right here. And we're just going to go ahead and copy and then paste that right there. Link and paste it. Um, and then underneath here, I like to sometimes provide them with the example projects listed right here. Uh, you can provide them with the project rubric. Again, you can make a copy of it or you can give them the one that's right in Applied Digital Skills. Uh, and then I also love linking to my Google Classroom assignment, sometimes for student choice boards. If you are using a learning management system, it's nice to actually separate them for your students to make their submissions on the learning management system. So sometimes I'll like to embed that Google Classroom link. Uh, finally, you can even turn the next couple of slides into hyper slides uh, and hyperlink from section number one on slide number one, maybe to slide number two, where you can elaborate about your expectations for your students for this particular project uh, so that they hit your um, your learning targets, your learning goals. Uh, and that's it. That's how you can make a very simple choice board using Google Slides and apply digital skills. I hope that you found that video to be helpful in understanding how wonderful student choice boards can be for your students, but also that they don't need to be elaborate and over the top. They can really be quite simple, uh, especially if you have a great resource like Applied Digital Skills to pull project ideas from or even full projects from. My name is Sue Trankina. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the How To With Sue YouTube channel. I'm also on Instagram if you wanna follow me over there at How To With Sue and on Twitter at Sue Trankina, T-R-A-N-C-H-I-N-A, everybody -A. spells it wrong. Okay, uh, if you wanna comment below what you liked, what you didn't like, um, be kind uh, and uh, and let me know if there's any other videos that you'd like to see or if you were at any of my workshops, whether they were applied digital skills or something else. Um, and I look forward to sharing more content with you guys in the future. Thanks so much for joining me.